my name's Katie, welcome back to my channel and it is Boxing Day for me today so I hope everyone had a lovely Christmas and today I'm just chilling out, taking it very slow paced um, I had a really nice Christmas yesterday Today I want to do like a Boxing Day, get ready with me I'm just basically going to test a few products that I got for Christmas so right now I'm going to do my hair and I'm going to test the new GHDs that I got So I got the GHD Platinum Styler gift set, which is one that comes in this box here, and it has two nail varnishes as well, and they're currently just heating up, in fact I think they already heated up, because, well, I plugged them in, and then you press the power button, and then literally like 10 seconds later, it made this noise, which I think indicates that they're ready, so it literally took like 10 seconds to fully heat up, which is mental. And yeah, but I've got a few new makeup products to try out. I am going to do a, what I got for a Christmas video, which I'll probably film after this, but I'll probably upload it before this video, if that makes sense. It just seems to make sense to do it in that order to me. But anyway, I'm going to get on with trying out these straighteners, but I think I'm going to use them to like curl my hair instead of straighten them. So I'm just going to put some heat protectant in. And this is what the guys look like. It's got a really nice floral pattern on it. And um, well, I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my hair because I've never used DHDs before. And uh, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just gonna, I guess, try and curl my hair the way I would normally. So I just get a little bit here. Normally when I curl with a straightener, I like get it at the top and then like spin it around and then just like push it through like that at least I think that's what I do uh, that kind of went wrong no I don't do that no I <laughs> what I do is I wrap it around completely um, like 360 or whatever and then I push it through and it should curl which it has done ooh it's quite a loose wave but can you see it? Um, I'm just gonna faff about this a bit more. I think I'll probably need to do it in like smaller bits because the um, my actual kind of heated bit isn't like really wide or anything. some nice loose waves going on uh, that looks super cute I like it obviously I need to play around with these strainers a bit more obviously I use it to like curl my hair and I don't know what it's like to straighten but I mean they're very expensive straighteners so I'm guessing it's good okay so we've moved over to the makeup station and I don't know what I want to do but <laughs> I'm gonna try out some new products so I don't have like a full face of products to try out but to be honest, I didn't really ask for like, any makeup this year, but I did get a few bits. Um, but I don't really have like a full face or anything, so I am just going to kind of do a standard get ready with me with a few little new bits in it. Okay, so I'm just going to make a base on my eyelids. And I'm using the Freedom Pro Camouflage Paste in CFO1. This is just a very yellowy toned concealer and it works well as a base for eyeshadow. Right, I'm just gonna set that powder with, I'm gonna set that powder. <laughs> I'm gonna set that concealer with the collection Primed and Ready in Visible Setting Powder. Uh, yeah, there you go. Okay, we got a base, and now I need to decide what I wanna do with my eyes. Kind of wanna use um, one of the Eco Stardust glitters I've used just because I got three of them and I've used two already but I haven't used this last one and it's kind of like got an assortment of colours in there I don't know how well you can see it but it's like it's called Sweet Tooth 
it's kind of just got like a mixture of like all the colors in there there's like pink there's green there's gold silver uh i kind of tempted to try this but then i don't know because i don't know i just don't know what i want to do right i think i'm gonna get my douce palette because um i haven't used this in a video i don't think since my cohorted testing and i've got some other palettes i'd like to use but i've used them kind of recently in videos so um let's use this one right i'm gonna start with this shade here which is kind of just like a a normal transition-y shade and then i think i'm gonna kind of use a one of the darker gold colors um over that um but yeah i'm gonna start with that shade i'm just gonna bring this through my crease to start with i really want to use this um like it's like a kind of goldy browny color it's quite an interesting color I think I'm going to use this one and kind of just define my crease area with that. Okay, I'm going to get the uh, white matte shade and then the white glimmery shade and just run those through my brow bone. Alright, I'm going to get this shade right here um i don't even know how to describe that color but i'm gonna use my finger and pack that one on the base of my eyelid kind of like a glimmery pinky brown color uh don't really know how to describe it i'm just gonna place this in the center of my lid okay so i'm gonna give this glitter a go as I said, it's from Eco Stardust and it's in the shade Sweet Tooth. I want to do my whole lid or just like the center. I think I might just do the center. Oh my god. But be careful with this stuff because it can very easily go everywhere. I think I'm just going to put it in the center and then just see what it looks like. So I'm using the um, NYX Glitter Primer. This is something like a flat top brush. This is um. Zoeva Luxe Classic Shader 232 and I'm just going to dab the glitter in that and then see what happens. Awesome. Okay, let's do the other side. Okay, and now there's glitter everywhere and I better clean it up. So I've got some glitter there and now I don't know what to do. Hmm, I'm thinking maybe I'll use this shade here. Uh, it's kind of a more like reddishy metallic shade and maybe put that on the um, like either side. Um, I don't know, just so it looks a bit more like not just a blob of glitter on my eye. <laughs> Again, I'm just going in with my finger and then we'll see. mixing that same colour with the darker red matte colour and then I'm just gonna, I don't know, like blend I guess? I don't know what I'm doing to be honest. Okay, I'm just gonna do the shadow like that for now. Um, I might add to a layer or I may just leave it like that, who knows. Um, I'm using the Art Deco Coal Eyeliner uh, 01. I'm just gonna sharpen this and then just do my water lines. I'm now going to use the Bourjois Volume Clubbing Ultra Black Mascara just to do my top lashes. Okay, we got some lashes. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this eye look. Like, it's alright. It looks a bit weird, but I don't know. I really am a fan of this mascara though. Uh, this one has been growing on me a lot since I first used it. The um, Volume Clubbing by Bourjois. <laughs> I promise that eventually we will try some products I got for Christmas, but we're not quite at that stage yet. Technically, I did um, get these blending sponges from B Full Stop, Superdrugs brand. Um, I just got a pack of two. Um, I do actually have one of these already, which I used for ages. I mean, look how disgusting it is. That's what they look like when you get them. And this is mine after like, God knows how long of use. 
Um, I have got another sponge I'm using at the moment, which is from a brand called My Kit Co. Um, I can't really be bothered to set these up to be honest and wet them and stuff, so I won't use them in this video. But I have used the B ones before, and I know that they're really good. So I'm really happy to have a two pack of these because you can never have enough sponges. All right, I guess I'm gonna do some base products now. So I'm just gonna get my hair out on my face. Now I ain't got a damn clue what foundation I want to use. I think I might use the New Look No Shine Mattifying Foundation just because I haven't used this in a while. I'm going to be doing a like roundup of, I'm going to do a video on ranking my favourite foundations of 2017. I'm also going to do one for concealers and I think I'll do one for highlighters as well. And then after that I'll just do kind of like a miscellaneous favourites video. I kind of want to like try out um, like the foundations and the concealers again and then like I don't know just maybe show some clips of me applying them um just to kind of get a refresh and remember like my actual opinions on them but yeah I'm gonna try out this new look one today which I do like quite a lot um this one you don't really need a mixer with either um it's probably not the perfect shade for me like the undertone probably isn't right but I mean in terms of paleness it is pretty pale right so I'm just gonna uh coat my face my foundation as usual mm, smells really fresh i am very excited for some tv tonight i can't wait to watch big fat quiz of the year that is the best thing about boxing day see this is weird because i can't really tell what the undertone is because it sort of looks pink but it sort of looks yellow i mean i guess that means it's neutral but it's also got kind of like a beigey tone if that makes sense like a kind of like brownie tone but like it's still pale I don't know, you see, I'm not very good at describing, like, things. This is what this foundation looks like. See, like, when it's, like, on now, I feel like it looks like a really good colour match, like. But I have a feeling it's oxidises, but I honestly can't remember because I haven't used it in a while. But, um, the coverage is pretty good. Obviously, you can still see certain things coming through. Um, but that's fine for me because honestly I kind of prefer foundations that are like medium coverage because um, then it just kind of gives you a reason to use concealer and it's like, I mean I buy loads of concealers so I want to use my concealers. So like when you have a full coverage foundation, I often like, I just look at my skin and I'm like, I don't need concealer. And I'm just like, well this is a waste of my concealers then. I think I want to mix something for concealer, just because I haven't done that in a while. Um, I'm going to use my Freedom Pro Longwear in white and I think I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer in there and I'm just going to mix these together on the back of my hand. I brought a new one of these recently so that's good because I feel like these are really good um, for like mixing because they're actually like quite high coverage themselves, they've got like good pigment. This Bare Minerals Concealer man is so orange, it's really disappointing. Okay, got a little concealer mix here. And I'm just going to add this under my eyes, on my nose, and on any little blemishes that are poking through my skin still. Okay, I think I've got the colour um, mixing pretty accurate here. Got quite a nice yellow tone to it. Okay, so that's our base. And part of me really wants to do some cream contouring right now, but I don't know. Because I've not cream contoured in a while. In fact, I know what I'm going to do. I think I'll use my um, Freedom Pro Contour Shape Stick. It's because this is like the most convenient way to like cream contour in my opinion. Because it is literally just a stick that you draw on your face. I don't think I'm going to bother with the highlighter side. I'm just going to use the contour end. And this is quite a nice colour as well. It's not too dark. So I'm just going to, you know, do the usual places. My cheekbones, my nose, my forehead, my chin. That kind of thing. I actually kind of prefer to use a brush to blend this out, but um, if it doesn't do it enough to my liking, I will then go in with a sponge afterwards. I may have put way too much on here, I'm not sure. This is the um, Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. You know, I definitely think I put way too much on. <laughs> Okay, well, this is how you don't do contour, because I've gone way too overboard. I'm just going to keep blending and blending and blending until 
it sort of looks okay. <laughs> It don't look great, but it's gonna have to do for now. <laughs> so I have got a new brush to try out to set my face with. And um, this is from B, it's the bronzing brush, but I'm gonna use it to set my face because it's kind of the right shape for it. But obviously you could use it for bronzer as well. It's basically just like a big kabuki styled brush. Um, it looks and feels pretty nice. So I think I will just use this to set my face. Um, I might use something a little bit more intricate just to do my under eyes, but um, the rest of it I'll use this for. I did need a new powder brush because the one I've been using is just, it's been going on too long. So I'm going to use that collection, um, the Primed and Ready Invisible Setting Powder again. I'm just going to use a little smaller brush just to do under my eyes. This is the Gosh Mineral Powder Brush. Okay, so same powder, I'm just going to use the big bronzing brush to do the rest of my face. I've never used a brush this big before. May as well use the same brush to do my bronzer as well, seeming as it is a bronzer brush. Um, I'm gonna use the I Heart Makeup Summer of Love. And I guess just sweep it. Okay, we've finally got a new makeup item to try. So I was kindly gifted the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Kit, which I had been wanting for ages, and it looks absolutely stunning. That is what it looks like. It's so damn beautiful, and I cannot wait to try this on my face. I love these colors. They're so pretty and icy and holographic. I love it. I'm just gonna make sure my highlighter brush is rid of any highlighter. Okay, there's too many good shades in here to choose from, but I think I'm gonna go with Blue Moon, and I'll just use this on both of my cheekbones. Let's see a closer look at it there. Okay, let's do this. Oh, that was so nice. Oh, I love it. Don't know how well you can see it on the camera, but in person, you can definitely see it. I think I'm gonna go in with the shade called Star, which is a kind of like silvery colored highlight. You can see my nice little finger swatch in there. I think I'm gonna use that shade to do like my nose, my cubes, my chin, and just a bit above my brows. That is some intense highlight. Jesus. I'm just gonna blend it out a tad. I'm actually in love. I wanted this palette for ages. These shades are just so amazing. If you're like a very pale skinned person, I feel like these are like the perfect shades for you. I don't know how well these would work on darker skin tones just because they are quite icy colours. Um, I don't know, maybe they would look nice, who knows? Who knows? Well, someone with darker skin would know. I'm in love, it's so nice. Oh, I'm so grateful to have received this because it's amazing and I love it and it's blinding and oh my god. So the only other like new makeup products I've got to try are lip products, so I'm just going to do something with my brows. What am I going to do with my brows? I can't be asked to fill them in properly, so I'm just going to use the um, Milani Easy Brow Tinted Fibre Gel and just fill them in with this. This one is in the shade... This one's in the shade 05 Dark Brown. Basically just going to brush the product through my brows. Okay, I think I'm gonna go back in with the kind of like darky, goldy colour from the Doucet palette. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of that under my lash line. I think I'm gonna use the colour called Blue Ice from the um, Moonchild kit and pop that on the inner corner of my eye. Uh, 
And while I'm here, I may as well use another shade under my brown bone as well. I think I'll go for Lucky Clover, which is a more goldy, yellowy toned highlight. Yeah, I'm just going to pop a bit of that under my brow bone. I'm just going to do my bottom lashes with the same mascara, the Bourjois Volume Clubbing. So I've got two new products to try on my lips. Um, I got the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. What is this? This is the Hyper Glitz lipstick in the shade Starlit and it has the most beautiful packaging I've ever seen. That's just amazing. That packaging is like just phenomenal. And it is a like, kind of pinky shade, which isn't what I would normally go for. But um, I mean, it looks amazing. It has got this kind of like glimmer to it, which I like. And um, I think they're quite like sheer, so it's not like a really intense pink. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay out some of this on. As you can see, it's quite sheer, but it's also really shiny. So that's actually quite nice. That's cute because it's like, it's obviously a pink, but it's not too intense. And it, I don't know if you can see, but like there's just so much like kind of glittery shininess in it, which is really pretty. I actually, I actually really like I also got another Fenty um, lip product. This is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Gloss Bomb Universal Lip Luminizer. That's what it looks like. I love the colour of this um, and it smells amazing. I kind of like coconutty but fruity at the same time because um, I don't normally like coconut but I like this. Uh, obviously this is a gloss and I've mentioned before I'm not normally the biggest fan of glosses but I mean there's something about this that is just appealing to me. I'm gonna just layer this on top. I mean, whether that's a good idea of this lipstick, I don't know, but I got it and I wanna try it. Ooh, it kinda like adapts to the color of it. That's actually really cool because it doesn't like distort the color too much, but then it just gives you this really nice shine. Um, you see, I know I said I don't like glosses, but um, my last co testing cohort at the Beauty Box we got like this tart, um, glossy lip paint and I've actually been wearing it quite a lot even without mattifying it so I think I'm actually maybe starting to come around to glosses a little bit I mean honestly I think they're fine it's just like if you're going out and it's really windy that is the one time I would not definitely not wear them because they can like go everywhere but actually I think I'm starting to come around to glosses a little bit um, but this looks gorgeous I like this a lot and like the smell is so pungent like just it being on my lips you can smell it and it's amazing this is the finished look well, let me clean it up this is the finished makeup look as well as my lovely curly hair and I actually think this look turned out all right it was like a bit meh throughout it like is this gonna look good but actually I'm feeling the eyes and I'm feeling the lips and it looks pretty good um so Obviously, all of the products that I got for Christmas, I really dig in. And I was a bit sceptical about the lips, but actually, I think in the end, it's turned out pretty nice. So, there you go. And that highlighter palette is absolutely stunning. It is stunning. So, there you go. This is my little Boxing Day Get Ready With Me video. Um, and I'm probably going to film my what I got for Christmas after this. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.